This is Surfaces 2015. We're in Las Vegas. I'm with Stuart Hirshhorn. He heads Catalina Research. Stuart, how you doing? Very good. Enjoying the show. Now, let me start at the beginning. This was the first time that the Builder Show and the Kitchen and Bath Show were held roughly the same time as Surfaces. Uh, you were at the Kitchen and Bath uh, Builder Show yesterday. How would you... Uh, how, how would you outline that show? Uh, well, it was mainly it was at the Kitchen and Bath show. It was, it was an excellent show. It seemed well attended. And uh, it was exciting to have both. I don't know if there's much synergy between the attendees. Uh, I know there isn't for the vendors because I've seen both of the vendors there. Uh, but uh, it was very good, and everyone seemed to be optimistic over there. I'm wondering, I know there's a lot of floor-covering players that exhibit at the Builder Show, and I suspect they have to do double duty or pick one show. Do you have any feel for that? Uh, well, I, I probably have to do double. I spoke to one of the uh, uh, attendees here or the vendors here that I spoke to today, and they said they were working at the Builders show yesterday. So, uh, uh, yeah, they got to work harder. So, overall, does that produce critical mass? I know in theory it must. Uh, well, as I said, for me, it's great. Uh, and uh, maybe if they were marketed more together, it would. I'm not sure how the, how the marketing was done. Uh, but uh, maybe if they're also, I thought they were closer. I didn't realize the convention center was that far away. And actually, someone was asking where a booth was, and he shows me his phone, and it says KBIS. It's a good thing I knew that it was on. I said, You're on the wrong show. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> it is quite a hike. I mean, it's a. It's a what? It's a it's a healthy cab drive to the next. I, are there are there shuttles? Uh, I don't know if there's shuttles in between. I know there was shuttles from. I wasn't staying here. They're from other hotels to the convention center, uh, but I don't I don't know if there was. I mean, there should be, but I, I don't I don't know. I'm sure there must be, but I don't know that for a fact. So then we'll have to see as this plays out in future years how they market together and how this is really going to play out. Yeah, well, I know it was harder to get a hotel room. So I know it brought more people to Vegas having all the shows together. Whether they actually went to multiple shows, you know, would have to be seen. Uh, what's your take on surfaces? Is this uh, a show, and again, this is the end of the first day. Uh, would you say it looks like a healthier turnout here than it did last year or the year before? Uh, well, I wasn't here last year. We had our fourth grandchild, so I, I missed it. But uh, it is definitely a healthier attendance. Uh, that I remember from two years and even three or four years ago, definitely. Uh, also, the vendors seem to be, well, when you speak to vendors, they seem to be happier. They've been talking about business is, is, is better year over year, and they seem to be optimistic about two 2015. How do you like the new name, the International Surfaces event? Uh, I think most people who've been here for a while just call it Surfaces. Uh, but I, I know they have the East event, and now it's the West event. So, I, again, we'll have to see how that, how that plays out. Now, the big news, we're standing right in front of Engineered Floors. Engineered Floors is now in the nylon business. They've also got a new backing. They seem to be a really hot property here. What's your take? Uh, well, from what I heard, they are. They're growing substantially. They're, they're taking market share from some of the other players. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely, you know, doing well. Uh, also, I was surprised when I came in here is how many uh, different vendors are, are setting up to sell carpet. You know, four or five years ago when I came, carpet was, you know, less and less vendors were showing. And they said, well, the way things are going, it looks like it's going to be a hard surface show. But I was really shocked by the number of, of carpet and soft surface vendors that are here. Well, the idea, it seems to me, if you would have said six years ago, there's going to be a new carpet company that's going to turn everybody's head, I would have said, you're crazy. But indeed, it's happened, and we're right in front of their stand, and it's packed. Uh, well, they're taking share from a certain segment of the market, uh, you, know, the mass, the, you know, the mass market through the home center channels. So uh, uh, they're, they're doing well in that sector, and, and there are other competitors have, have decided to either you know, not compete as strong having them, or moved on to you know higher uh, margin products or higher end products. But it certainly has changed, changed the situation. And it, just from 
from standing here seeing the number of retailers that are in the engineered stand, they're certainly turning some heads. Uh, well, but it hasn't changed the numbers of carpet in its declining position in the flooring industry. That's a point they're tr trying to make. They're taking share. They're being aggressive where others maybe have been lax and see an opening. Uh, it is still 50% of the market. It's still a pretty substantial market. You know, even if they're coming, you know, coming and do a billion dollars, it, it look, you know, looks big, but it's, it's a, a, a smaller share than, than the leaders in the industry. How's that going to play out next year, the year after, and on, on down the road? We're going to see that. Is that going to be 40% in 10 years? Of uh, uh, carpet share? Yeah, carpet share of the whole market be somewhere in that range in 10 years? Uh, well, it's for the first time in, in, uh, probably in the history, it's, it's tending towards below 50%. Uh, I, I, I think the, the LVT, which is a very exciting product, is going to cut somewhat into that. Uh, not only, uh, mainly, I think it, a lot in the commercial area. Uh, and uh, so I do think there's going to be a slow drift down of market share for, for carpeting and probably in the, in the 40 to 45 percent range five, ten years from now. Do you see anything that could potentially change that? Uh, not right now. I think there's a lot of innovation in hard surfaces, I think, and, and over the last couple of decades. So, you know, when carpet had 70 percent and hard surface started to compete against them, take market share, you know, 20, 20 years later, hard surface is a different product than it was a couple of decades ago. You know, wood is now pre-finished. It's click installed. Uh, the LVT uh, is come on and is, is give uh, an, an option of a softer uh, waterproof surface. Uh, the uh, ceramic tile has come out with the wood looks and all, and, 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 and the uh, digital printing has, uh, you know, enhanced that product. So, you know, the competition is much stronger than it was 20, 25 years ago when carpet started to lose ground. So we'll take a lot more work to make up that loss as if, you know, if we went forward. Do you think that consumers um, are not happy with a textile floor covering per se, or is it just the what shade of beige look that, that they're turning their backs on? Well, I think some of it is style. Uh, whether it lack, you know, you're, you're intimating that carpet is lack of style uh, and the styles, the, the options you have at hard surface. Uh, but the other is some is demographics. I mean, the country has always moved south and west, which are non-carpet areas. Uh, so, you know, there are other, there are other trends that are going on uh, than just... Uh, also, I was talking to someone, uh, you know, uh, the percent of people with, with pets in the house may get people to question using carbon. I know there are better products out that Agia and Vista came out with their product, which has been successful. But, uh, you know, still people, you know, there are factors that are out there beyond just what carpet could do or not do for you that are changing consumers' minds. But at this point, you don't see anything in the cards that's going to reverse the loss that carpet has been having and from the looks of it now it's going to continue to have. Uh, I think so. I think so. But, you know, I don't think you're going to see sharp drops. It'll be, you know, a slow drip, drip of, of market share loss. Uh, you know, some of it has helped uh, mitigate that has been when you do have hard surface, you tend to buy area rugs or, or go into a carpet store and have them make, you know, a rug from Broadloom for you. So, you know, that has become a, a bigger part of the market. Uh, carpet tile uh, has its advantages in the commercial market. So that has uh, become a bigger part of the market. It's mainly in the, in the residential wall-to-wall -wall is what you're talking about. But other sectors have uh, you know, maintained or even, even increased uh, in sales. So that uh, puts a bottom under the, the drop in, in the carpet in the soft surface area.